Hello everyone, welcome back to Where in the World is Juliet. I wanted to um, check in and see how you're doing. Um, let me know in the comments below how you're holding up. I know this has been really hard on everybody. And I think it's still going to get harder. And I'm not happy about it. But I know things are progressing in both directions, both positive and negative. Uh, just, just the positive, the release of the emails from Dr. Fraudchi, right? I mean, they're really bad, including one that tells you the process about how they made the bug, how they made it and referred to it in the subject line as a bio weapon. So, the Anons knew. He was up there five minutes next to Trump at the first press conference and I started checking the boards and they had so much information, his ties to Mother Teresa. I mean, within 20 minutes. It was crazy. It was crazy. But I also know that, that last year I saw a video out of China uh, that showed how it was released. Let's just say it wasn't an accident. So we are making progress, right? Um, I'm really unhappy about the Okay. Um, I have to speak in code or take this channel down too. You know. I thought this was to be to save the children, you know. And I'm unhappy because when people were over 18, and even 18 is too young; it should be 21, but. 18. Um, they had a choice, see? They were making the decision for themselves. These kids, especially the babies, they don't have the choice. It's being chosen by their parents. And depopulation is in full swing. And I fully expect that the people who did this, a lot of them are going to die. I, I suspect with the new variant that they're claiming is coming out, it's the new bird flu, uh, H1N3 or O3 or something like that. It's just another virus that, of course, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say lab created. Probably to work in pairing with this to cause a spike protein because we know that the spike protein is what's causing a lot of the problems which makes so much sense because you get it from the the bug you get it from the right and then that and then anytime you're exposed to a similar bug you got a cytochrome storm going on in your body. It causes inflammation everywhere. So I'm wondering how many people that were on ventilators uh, needed steroids and antihistamine. They murdered those people by ventilator. I'm really not happy with a lot of that. But I'm also seeing more information about Nuremberg 2.0, Nuremberg trials. And things are proceeding. As far as I understand, it's a thousand doctors and a thousand attorneys. And they're going to do a Geneva style convention, um, tri Nuremberg style trials. And they should. 
unfortunately, I think, and I mean this, and I'm really, unfortunately, this breaks my heart. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of depopulation. I'm really unhappy that that was allowed. And I know it's allowed. You know, sometimes you have to show them. I don't know. Will they have to show us the death camps? So will there be roundups? Will we see the Nazis shooting people in the head in the street? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm no longer going to say that I, I expect this over soon because I don't. If we're living Revelation, we're only at about the halfway point. I trust God, but I'm not happy with where things are. But I'm willing to, you know, I mean, not that I have a choice, but I'm, I'm, I'm willing to keep trusting God. You know, I mean, I, I know that Jesus trusted God in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he prayed, let this cup pass from my lips, but thy will be done. That's good enough for me. So, I think we're all struggling a bit. Right? Emotionally, financially. I mean, I think we're going to be looking at total devastation. For everyone. If the Joe Biden tax plans go through, most of the country's screwed. That's not on government aid. And of course, that's the purpose. Because then you have to accept the Great Reset. I don't know how long this is going to go on. I don't. I no longer am looking at soon. I hope. But I guess it's long haul. But the devil's been around for a long time. Right now it's just about people waking up to the fact that this shit's real. <laughs> You know, trying to explain, I actually, somebody said something about they couldn't believe how, how much evil was in the world, and so, I, and they talked about the children, so I went on and I did a, um, a bit about, uh, you know, different things that I had seen, and the evil is unimaginable. Somebody comes back with, you know, you're, you're ranting, and I'm just like, no, I'm not, I'm telling you the truth of what I saw. And just because you don't want to listen or you don't want to believe it or you don't want to hear it or whatever. You know, and then you got people who are like, well, raise your vibration and just, like, give me a break. I mean, my for me, this mission has always been about the children. Always has been about the children. It's why in, what, 1997, I, I decided education. You know, it was it was speech and language pathology at first, right? So I could be a speech therapist in the school district, but it's the reason that that was the direction of my life is because, well, the, I was ignored and two children were murdered by the pedophile I predicted was coming in 1995. He showed up in 1997 and killed those two sisters. And that's what really changed the trajectory of my life. I mean, there were certain other catalysts along the way that did it, too. <clears throat> but if, if my whole mission is about save the children and protect the children, and this bioweapon is being unleashed against them, that's something I'm having a hard time reconciling. You know, how is the continued torture uh, of the population of the planet with this bogus bullshit, with, with you know, um, well, 
well, with the third Obama administration. I'm just going to say it. You know? I mean, are we looking at hyperinflation coming? I think so. When I say hyperinflation, people get ready. It's talking Venezuela. Millions of dollars for a raw chicken. That's what they want. Guess you gotta give it to them. I'm just sorry for all the people that have to suffer along the way that know. You know? Or the people who know. And, and they can't keep preparing every time somebody says, you know, oh, get ready, stock up. Well, they, you know, they're, we're at limited funds now. People have lost their businesses. So we're just kind of screwed. And with the shedding of the vaccine and all, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe humanity doesn't survive this. I don't know. Not anymore. Maybe the ones that survive are the ones with the nanoparticles. I don't know. I just know for me, this has always been about the children. And this is the part I can't reconcile. So I hope you're doing okay. I'm trying. And uh, hoping that shift comes soon. But we haven't even had the major scare event. We haven't had the two presidents. There's so much that still hasn't happened yet. I don't know. It's going to be another year. I don't know. It's going to be another three. I don't know. I don't know. So, I hope you guys have a great day. And, um, I hope I'm wrong and everything flips today. <laughs> so y'all have a great day. Take care. And God bless you. Bye.